Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through making a pretty easy Valentine's Day candy box. And we are going to get started in Cricut Design Space and we are going to use the back to school box and make some modifications to it. So we'll wanna go ahead and click on that and then click on customize. Make this a little bit smaller so you can see the whole picture. And I'm going to get rid of the images on top and hit delete. Next, you need to detach and we're going to remove the score line. And the reason we need to do that is we're gonna make some changes to this image and you have to have just one operation. You can only do one operation at a time. You can't make the change with the score line. So let's click on this, hit contour and we're gonna select these. And we are getting rid of the hole that was here so we can now start with a clean slate. And next I'm gonna go into images. And I'm going to use a ruffled heart. And I'm gonna use this one, so add to canvas. Okay, and I'm gonna make it smaller. And we're gonna place it like right about here this is the size that I want to use. So I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to select ungroup. And I want to get rid of this image right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and select this and hit slice. Because I want to have this as a border on the outside. So let's just go ahead and put this back to, um, together. Let's just group it just for a second so we know where to place it. So it's gonna go like right here. So now we can hit ungroup and slide this off. And we're gonna go ahead and select this and then hit slice. And then we can get rid of that. And we'll insert a square. We're just making a square so we can use this for the acetate. So let's make a gray and that'll go right there in the back. So let's just kind of set this aside. Then we are going to bring this back over, arrange, bring to front, and then just position it back where it was, which is about right here. We're gonna select this and then hit attached. Let's change this color to a pink. And I'm gonna make this like a darker pink. So let's do it kind of like that. We're gonna do this one as purple. And that's gray. And then we are going to make two other little hearts, which we are just gonna insert a heart. Drag this down and just gonna put something like right here and duplicate. And we're gonna do something here. We're just gonna kind of do something cute like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this. That size is good. And I'm gonna change the color to a light pink. And I'm gonna do the other one as a purple. And we're also going to add a name. So I'm gonna do it just like this. And I'm going to do light pink for this one as well. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna slide this over here and bring to front. And I'm going to bring this up here, this up here, and this here. And we're gonna slide this back here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit group because you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make it smaller. So we want everything to be proportioned. So we're gonna click on this and I'm going to just drag it in and we're gonna go ahead and do it at this measurement. So now I can select this and put ungroup and slide this off. Perfect, okay, so now we are ready to go ahead and click make it. The first thing we're going to do is use the acetate. So I'm just gonna get an acetate sheet and then just hit cut and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything else out with cardstock. For the candy box, we do need to use a scoring tool. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, so we have all the pieces. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold this 
on the score lines. We're gonna fold this here and here. And these have double score lines. Okay, and the next thing that we are going to do is glue the acetate onto here. And we're gonna use the glue gun for that. So what I'm gonna do is just start here. And then place this here. And then I'm gonna go down the sides. So now this is right there. So we are going to apply some glue here and then we're going to close this here. So we're going to use the glue gun and we're going to just fold this up right here and give it a second to dry and I'm going to use a popsicle stick, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So it's just like this. And then this part is going to glue closed right here. So just like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just push this in here. And then we're going to apply glue gun. So now we have this, just like this. So let's go ahead and apply the heart right here. And what I'm going to do is use this glue because the glue gun dries so fast. I think we might do better with this. So this is a barely art. We're gonna go ahead and use this. So let's apply some glue and you only need a little bit. Just use a little bit. And I'm just gonna rub it a little bit with my fingers so it doesn't come out the sides. And then we're gonna place it right over here. And we need to put our finger in here and just apply pressure. And next we're going to do the same thing with the name. And let's go ahead and just kind of place it out first so we know where it's gonna be. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just use this, whoops. That's kind of a lot. So let's just rub it with our fingers and then apply it. Do the same thing. And then we have the A, okay? And then we have our two little hearts that we're gonna place here and here and let this dry. So what do you think of this project? Is this something that you guys may make? Uh, leave a message below. Let me know. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.